Many women will spend one third of their lives or longer post-menopause. Knowing what to expect during the menopause transition and beyond can help women prepare to address their symptoms and develop healthy lifestyle habits that will benefit them well after midlife. With the guidance of patient advocates, researchers, and clinical experts, the Society for Women's Health Research has designed a toolkit to empower women to embrace the changes that come with their menopause journey. Our Menopause Preparedness Toolkit is a woman's empowerment guide that provides easy to understand information and resources on understanding your menstrual health and menopause, common changes and conditions associated with midlife, managing your menopause care, and wellness tips for the workplace, your personal life, and mental health throughout the menopause transition. This segment focuses on common conditions associated with menopause. Although the term menopause is often used loosely to describe the entire time frame of midlife changes, there are different stages to menopause. As a woman enters her late 40s or 50s, her ovaries produce less of the hormone estrogen, causing changes in her menstrual cycle and symptoms such as hot flashes, brain fog, and vaginal dryness. This transition into menopause, known as perimenopause, can last up to three to seven years before a woman's period completely stops, resulting in menopause. Menopause is officially defined when a woman's menstrual cycle has stopped for 12 consecutive months. In the United States, the average age of menopause for women is 51. Postmenopausal women have increased risks for certain health conditions, making preparation for this life stage crucial for overall health later in life. Genitourinary syndrome of menopause describes a set of genital, sexual, and urinary symptoms that commonly affect women in menopause. These might include vaginal dryness, pain with intercourse, urinary tract infections, or other irritations in the genital area. 50 to 70% of postmenopausal women experience GSM, yet only 6 to 7% of women are undergoing treatment for their care. Unlike many other menopause symptoms, GSM may not go away with time and can actually get progressively worse if left untreated. So it's important to discuss and address these symptoms with your healthcare provider. Effective treatments for GSM include lubricants and moisturizers that can be purchased over the counter, physical therapy, and localized hormone therapy. Your recommended treatments should be tailored to your specific symptoms. During the menopause transition, women can experience difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep throughout the night, particularly if they experience hot flashes and night sweats or have an underlying medical condition such as sleep apnea. Practicing good sleep hygiene may help you get a better night's rest. This involves having consistent sleep and wake times and reducing screen time, caffeine, and alcohol, especially before bed. Meditation and sleep apps may also be beneficial in a nightly wind-down routine. The Federal Trade Commission provides guidance that you can read online about how to select and use health apps while reducing privacy risks, should you choose to use one. Postmenopausal women are at a higher risk of cardiovascular disease and osteoporosis. Adopting healthy lifestyle practices before and during the menopause transition can reduce your risk for these conditions and can set you up for healthy habits late in life. Good practices for heart health include regular exercise, a balanced diet, limiting tobacco and alcohol intake, and incorporating activities that reduce your stress levels. If you have high blood pressure, diabetes, or high cholesterol, be sure to consistently take your prescribed medications for those conditions as well. Approaches to promote bone health include weight-bearing exercises and maintaining adequate levels of calcium and vitamin D. Although the current screening recommendation for bone mineral density is 65 years and older for women, 50% of women over the age of 50 break a bone due to osteoporosis. Talk to your healthcare provider to see if you are a candidate for an earlier scan, possibly due to being high risk or family history. Osteoporosis medications or hormone therapy may be recommended for women with low bone densities. Many women experience mild digestive symptoms like gas, bloating, heartburn, and constipation during perimenopause. 
This may be related to food moving slower through your digestive tract. Often, over-the-counter medications can reduce these symptoms. But if your symptoms persist, talk to your healthcare provider to rule out other conditions, such as irritable bowel syndrome. Menopause affects the body's metabolism, and many women gain weight with menopause. There is no one-size-fits-all approach to maintaining a healthy weight. Your healthcare provider should be able to offer strategies and holistic approaches to assist you with healthy weight management as you age, as this is important for your long-term health. Women should also speak to their providers about diabetes screening, and those with diabetes should monitor their blood glucose closely during the menopause transition to ensure that they are maintaining and adjusting their levels as necessary. Common hair and skin changes during the menopause transition include hair thinning or loss, increased facial hair, dry or itchy skin, and loss of plumpness. There are many products available to address mild concerns, but if you have specific concerns about unusual changes in your skin, hair, or nails, or if you would like advice on which products to try, you can consult with a dermatologist. Don't forget that your best tool for reducing skin aging is to wear sunscreen. Apply at least SPF 30 for daily sun exposure. Mild cognitive symptoms like forgetfulness or brain fog are common during the menopause transition. 60% of midlife women report problems with their memory during perimenopause. Staying active physically, socially, and mentally supports brain health. Omega-3 fatty acids have also been suggested to support cognitive health. Maintaining any current treatments to manage your high blood pressure, diabetes, or cholesterol are also important. Women are one and a half times more likely to be diagnosed with anxiety and two and a half times more likely to be diagnosed with a depressive disorder during perimenopause. While changes in mental health may be due in part to physiological factors, they can also be heightened by midlife stressors, such as the strain of adjusting to aging, challenges with managing menopause symptoms and accessing healthcare, and other personal and caregiving responsibilities. If anxiety or depression is interfering with your daily activities, it may be worth a visit to your healthcare provider so that they can recommend options to address your concerns. Yoga and meditation, counseling or therapy, and pharmaceutical options all exist to help you maintain your mental health and wellness throughout menopause. For more information about the menopause transition or to download a copy of SWHR's Menopause Preparedness Toolkit, a Woman's Empowerment Guide, visit our website, www.swhr.org. We also invite you to follow us on social media or sign up for our newsletter to get the latest in science, education, and policy concerning important women's health topics. We'd like to thank everyone who contributed to the development of this toolkit, especially our Menopause Education Working Group, House Cat Creative Publishing, LLC, and programmatic sponsors Astellas and Pfizer.